Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Before this adventure starts, I must let you know I'm a very sarcastic person. Sometimes my jokes may come across as derogatory. If you get offended easily, this might not be the video for you. Viewer's discretion is advised, and with that being said, let's get into the video. Alrighty, so today we are in Oceanside. Um, I have a friend with me from Long Beach. We are tandeming on the Scout 430, and uh, we're gonna be going a little bit offshore for some supposable bluefin tuna. Today is the 29th of August. Uh, we're going to be throwing all artificials, whether that be tubes, irons, plastic starts, you name it. What are you tying up right now? Small little iron. Teeny tiny. Show it in your hand. Oh. <laughs> nice. This is our setup. We have our Scout 430. We have a Yamaha 8 outboard motor, six gallon external fuel tank, seats, a uh, little bilge pump manual. I got my drone with me, we got paddle. We're each bringing two rods, we have a gaff, we have tackle in the box. It's got a canister filled with water. He has life jackets and other plastics as well. Um, it's gonna be interesting. Um, if I'm being honest, Jeff is a very fat dude, you know? <laughs> wow! It Broke? Oh my goodness, that's funny. Oh well. That's sad. <laughs> so yeah, back to what I was saying. Jeff is a very heavy big dude, so it should be interesting going offshore with him. So like I was saying, <laughs> Jeff is a very... Anything you'd like to say about that? Nothing, because you know it's true? Your mom thinks I'm handsome. I bet she does. <laughs> Yeah, so back to what I was saying, this vessel is 14 feet long. Um, we have both floor and tubes pumped up to 6 PSI, which is rock solid. And um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get out of there and we'll keep you posted. Fat boy coming in. <laughs> He's gonna go in one way and pop out the other. Dude, it's like we already have a tuna on board. You are so, you're making it so front heavy. I don't think you guys realize how heavy Jeff is. Let, let me just show you how soaked I'm getting right now. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff is a, Jeff, how much do you weigh? 330. Jeff weighs a whopping 330 pounds. Because of his excessive weight, um, our boat is doing the banana in the water here. So whenever it bananas, water comes over the side and I'm getting soaked. And we're pretty much at full speed, which is like 10 miles an hour. It's, it's pretty bad. With that being said, um, it is gonna be a slow ride. So for the first two hours, we did a giant rectangle lap. Jeff and I went out about seven miles, which was the edge of the canyon. Then we headed north towards San Onofre, where we were about four miles from the nuclear power plant. During our journey up north, we hit giant patches of fog. Sometimes we could see easily for a mile, and then other times our visibility was limited to maybe three yards at most. On our way back towards Oceanside Harbor, we had heard over the radio that fish were being seen, so we zigzagged our way back towards where we had started. We came across quite a few schools of bait, mainly anchovy, very small bait, like two to three inches. We also were competing against water clarity. Some spots were clear, while others looked like sewage, and it smelled terrible. I'm gonna make an assumption and say it's either from the storm surge or it's just red tide, Either way, it stunk, and I'm sure Jeff had a part to play in that smell, too. 
During our excruciating slow boat ride back to the tuna grounds, we had came across some schools of dolphin that put on a show. Endless barn door kelp patties with nothing underneath and tons of other fishermen that would appear out of the fog out of nowhere. Now once we found schools of tuna, they were very finicky. They would pop up only for about 10 to 30 seconds tops and then disappear for 5 to 10 minutes. So when they did pop up, you'd have to motor over as quickly as you can and hope for the best. So while chasing these schools of tuna, we kept coming across all these schools of anchovy. These anchovies were, you know, two to four inches, not very big, tons of schools. Um, but it was weird, you know, we have the red tide going on, so some of the water was clear like this, and then other spots were like sewage brown. It was, it was weird. Dug back down by the time we get there, which it looks like it already has. Um, it's good. We'll see fish. We'll pull up on it, cast. Um, they're they're up for like 15, 20 seconds at a time. So if, if you don't get in there within that time of them blowing up, you know they go under, and then you're looking around for another stinking, you know, 10 minutes before something else pops up. So it's very weird, very finicky. The, the water is also like chocolate milk brown. It's like. It's worse than chocolate milk. It's like, it's poop sludge. It's disgusting. Side, there's a school in front that we're gonna go to. Actually, no, well, let, let's go over here. We're gonna go this way. Um, yeah, so these guys look like they're in the 30 pound range. Uh, we're gonna get some casting. This is so cool. We're. After that whole fiasco, there's another one right in front of us. Um, had to cut lines, retie. Um, like several other schools popped up around us, and we were like casting, but nothing would bite. So um, we are throwing poppers. Uh, oh, that is so rad! That's so cool. And then see, like just like that, they just disappear all at once.
sorry. I'm sorry. We are finishing up our morning out here at the pipe. Uh, tuna fishing slowed down quick. Had maybe about 30 minutes of just tuna everywhere and then shut off. Um, the, the water's like as orange as my shirt right now. And it's very dark. Let me let me show you how dark. Water is so nasty. Look at this. This fish is gonna disappear. Gone. That's so eerie. Peekaboo, goodbye. Peekaboo, goodbye.